Hello, it's Katiana de Campos, Psychic and Medium, and today I'm going to speak about the new moon in Capricorn happening the 12th or the 13th uh, of January 2021. First, it's the 13th moon cycle, so it's the end of something, a rebirth, okay? Uh, a lot of cycles are ending and uh, new doors will open. Of course, uh, we are in January, we are uh, in the age of light, it's a new start for many things, and I think it's starting now. This new moon happening on the 12th gives us a 9, so it speaks about the reconnection with ourself, okay? uh, who we are, what we really want to do, how we're going to process and move forward. But uh, and what we are letting uh, behind us. Uh, it speaks also January 13th about uh, 10, so 1. So again, a rebirth, uh, a really a new door opening, a new cycle happening. So the thing is, uh, what you have to also realize is that what you all went through before uh, today was to shape you. It was for you to become that true warrior, this to be authentically yourself. It was some kind of training, and I know it was hard for many. Now the re real things are happening. Okay, and um, I believe uh, you can see that probably uh, in the news, a lot of people going crazy, a lot of things going on in the world that never happened before, a true change, fast energy, ups and downs, fast energy, okay? And uh, the warrior that you are needs some rest. Today, at this time, I believe a lot of you need rest, meaning you need to find peace, to find focus, because you have to be ready for the war that will happen next. Yeah, <laughs> we're not over with the changes. Um, what I wanted to tell you too is that um, some of you you may have been that true warrior. You may know your path, your life path. And you may have started to build a lot, but you have been grounding yourself, mm -hmm. protecting yourself, and um, with so much power, so much force within, that today, what you are lacking, lacking, it's softness. Not softness in the sense that you need to be weak, not at all, is to bring back the yin energy, nurturing, and find that peace of mind. Don't control where you're going. You know where you're going. You don't need to do more. I don't know how can I say that. You need to take the action you have to take, but in peace. That's what I want to say. In peace. Being peaceful bring back peacefulness in your space. That will be, uh, I think, very uh, useful for where you're going if you already are in your life path. Others, um, um, I believe that you may going through difficulties, you may feel dark and tense energies coming from the outside or the within, inside of you and you may be overthinking trying to be in control maybe some of you of something but the universe is in control of your of of the future you know so today the only thing you can control is you finding back peace within some changes are inevitable and instead of resisting, 
you could choose to adopt another perception of life, another perception of what is, another perception of what have happened. And that's how you're going to have peace, by having acceptance to stop trying to control certain things or being in a state of resistance. I hope you understand me. I'm really trying to express myself well. But... And once you do that, you see that you will go through all these difficulties with ease. More ease. Okay? Um, for others, you may realize that um, you thought you were supposed to be someone or to be a certain way. You invested maybe in achieving certain things and now you could feel triggered. Is that really it? Is that what you feel? That is really for you? Is that what fulfills you? And the only way to not be so forceful about your future, like I have to be that, I have to do that, because that's what I'm supposed to be, that's what I'm supposed to do. Moving towards a path that may not even be yours and complimenting who you really are would be to ask yourself if there was no money involved, no rules, no nothing, no influence, no parents around, no nobody. Would you do this? Would you be that person you, you're trying to, to, to portray to others? It is also important to know that the outside world and the programming could have made you think that way could have made you think that you were doing all right. But if you are triggered today, it's because you're having an upgrade and you are asked to accept in total peace who you truly are. That maybe this, your inner child, want to have more fun, want to put the clothes he want to put on, want to do the work he want to do, want to speak how he want to speak. And that is to be authentic, truly, sincerely, honestly, authentic, to be. And that's all the universe is asking you today. And yes, it is intense. It is hard. It is changing your whole life and it is worth it. That's what we call an enlightenment, an awakening, you know. It's all um, about having the balls, the acceptance that a change needs to happen. So life doesn't feel so forceful, so hard, so like being in a cycle for some of you, or frustrating. So yeah, in January, some of you, you may be in tune with yourself, connected, and you may feel that you need that space of peace. So you might do some meditation and stuff like that. So it's great for others, that's what you need to do. And what um, ancestors told me is that the frequency 777, 70, uh, 777, 777 is what you need to feel better. Okay, music frequencies on YouTube, 777. Uh, for others, if you keep on resisting and lying to yourself or being um, working hard 
overthinking, keep on going, you're going to feel very tired, you may burn out, you may go crazy for others, and uh, there will be a retrograde uh, January 30, the 30th of uh, 2021, and that uh, may push you to change certain things, yeah, may push you hard for some of you, okay? There is a lot of things going on in the world, but also within, for some of you. Uh, those who have done the work, I believe it's all about just finding that peace, that balance. And right now I can go, I'm taking actions because that's the time, and right now I can just stop and slow down. You will feel that energy is crazy during uh, 2021. That's something you be you need to be in tune with. It will help you greatly. I love you, and um, happy new moon, Capricorn. Love you.